<laughs> Good morning, everyone. 43, 44 degrees. Partly foggy out there in certain areas, but it's not going to be too bad. All that rain has moved out, though. Things are starting to dry out. Won't feel quite as warm as the temperatures tell us today. And for a little while, partly cloudy skies. 71 for that high today. Yesterday, we never made it to 70. It was a cool day, but should be getting a little better here. Tomorrow, high temperatures of 64. No rain to worry about. Look at the weekend. Cooler temperatures to be outside, though, but nice. Full sunshine on Saturday with highs of 59. Lynn Wells up yes. here. Her shot outside. Frank's already taking a leak of them, but everybody's tires out there, so he's back in this morning. When the sun comes out, he's going to get out a whole lot. He's Lynn! Good. He's good. Yeah. Walker High School. He used to be over there with old buddy Ray Stillman. He was assistant principal. Bob Lappia graduate over there. You worked with him. You interned at Channel 31. In 1984, yeah. I was there. I didn't stay there a lot. I was gone. I worked by myself. Didn't want to hang around everybody else, so I did my own thing. Kind of like what you do. Yeah, right? and then you went to 19? Uh, I did. How long did you stay at 19? I was there five and a half years. And then we moved to Birmingham and I worked at the ABC station. We, we moved around a little bit, but I ended up at the NBC back in Birmingham. Oh, great. He was over there. Did you ever see Country Boy Eddie, Eddie? Oh, uh, yeah. I'll shoot you. He's a nice guy. Yeah, legend. He is that. And I'm surprised I told you this morning he's still alive. He is that? I, I'm surprised too. <laughs> is Tom York still alive? I'm sorry? Is Tom York still alive? As far as I know, yeah. I think he is yeah. Too. They used to get All right, you came up with this book. When did you shoot these photographs? Uh, this is actually, it's been ongoing for eight years. I, it really was really hardcore about the last three. What kind of camera did you use? An Nikon. An Nikon. You didn't use an iPhone or anything? Oh, no, no. Actually, they're not an iPhone. There's actually one picture in there I shot with my smartphone. But I'll, I'll never say what. I will if you ask. Now, how did you get the idea to do this forgotten Alabama thing? All right. When I was at the NBC in Birmingham, I used to operate a satellite truck. And I spent a lot of time on the road. And one time I was going to Auburn, and I saw this 57 Chevy sitting on the side of the road between Silicon and Childersburg. And I thought, well, I had time, so I stopped to look at it. Well, it turns out it was like 40 or 50 acres of ancient rusting cars. I mean, nothing, really? nothing was newer than like 1965. And I didn't have a camera with me, and I realized, because this is a photographer. Video. Well, no, actually I didn't have a camera, because I ran a satellite truck. You just had a satellite truck, no video camera. Correct. Well, anyway, it gave me the idea, these things are like worthy of saving, if nothing else, in a photograph. So then, over the course of the eight years I operated a satellite truck at Channel 13, I probably logged close to a quarter of a million miles. And I started seeing abandoned things here and there and every. Did you start taking the camera with you? Absolutely. <laughs> so uh, eventually, I mean, I got laid off in 2009, and then I, free, I still freelance doing that. But I, but I kind of just got my blood, and so I mapped out the entire state of Alabama in 2013. All 67 counties. All 67 counties. Yes. And drove about 25,000 miles and took about 10,000 photographs. Now you can find his Facebook page, Forgotten Alabama, of course, on Facebook. You have a couple pages, so just look him up. Let's talk about Check some of these photographs. See, we don't have a job, but they're, they're incredible. I love, they are. and I love taking pictures like that myself, too. I just think you've got that time to spend on doing it. Where were some of your favorites taken? Um, Actually, to be honest with you, I don't know if y'all, that's actually on old Highway 72 in Woodville. I happened to just get really lucky that morning with the sky and all like that. Do you go out any time of the day? Well, I normally, my days run, I, I might have to drive two hours to my first stop because I plan these things out. That's in Scottsboro. That is one of my favorite photos. Totally found out by accident. I paid a crab fisherman 20 bucks to actually go shoot something else. On the way oh, back to the dock, day. I'm sorry? Is that at Bon Secours? That is correct. That's a retired fishing vessel. It'll eventually end up. Do you have to go through Mobile to get there? Uh, no, that's in Baldwin County. Bon Secours is in Baldwin County. Yes. Now we were. That's where that's we were. Where we right saw. where we get to go shore, take a right, and go back down into that little marina. Is that where that is? Yes, sir. That's where yeah. we were that's there. We yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's where there's a park's house right there, by the way. Yeah. That's over in Mobile. That's over in Mobile County. That's correct. Okay, but that's where the mailman is that delivers by boat every day. <laughs> uh, I was not aware of that, but yeah, okay. Sure is. Right. That's in what one. That's for? Just some relics of the past. Relics of the past, because this is uh, one of my favorite pictures. Right this here. actually on Hobbs Island Road. Really? Did you see the old Hobbs Island uh, store where that parcel drove? That right side, literally down the street from this. Is it? Yes, sir. <laughs> that is a great photograph. Oh, well, thank you.
Thank you. And to be honest with you, I didn't see anything really cool about it until I saw the sun coming through, and I thought, wow, that's really neat. So, How many this, pictures would you take on an average stop? Uh, until I found a picture I liked, I could take 30 or 40. And you, this, that's a Boaz Outlet Mall. Well, I mean, is it still open? The Vanity Fair is still there, but for the most part... <laughs> the reason I ask that, I mean, that doesn't mean to fit in with everything you've got. I was there from the beginning. It was one of the first accounts I ever had, Channel 31. I was there from the inception. I went there in 1987. So the whole thing's basically dilapidated now. I'm not well, it's, it's I'm dilapidated. It's abandoned. I know that I'm part. scanning through this book, and here's a quote. I'm assuming you wrote this. <laughs> I wrote everything in there. Some of the best chicken I ever ate came from a gas station deli. Some of the worst chicken I ever ate came from a gas station. That is that is absolutely that's correct. That's a true statement. Well, that's your statement. <laughs> that's everything in this book. I did. I laid this book out. I learned enough Photoshop to wing it. I learned enough Microsoft Word to. I mean, right. everything in here is has has my hands all over. ForgottenAlabama.com is your website. Oh, here's a correct. An old marquee. You see those? There's one here in Athens on 31 too. You see these everywhere. Most people just let this stuff go by, but I'm, I'm kind of in the same mindset. I don't know, maybe it's because we were photographers. Uh, you know what? My chief photographer at Channel 19 taught me how, how to make... Uh, it's Greg Stone. He's still there. Oh, yeah. Geez. We saw him the other day. We met with Stan Pilot a year ago. Greg was still there. Greg's, Greg's one of the best photographers I ever knew, and he taught me how to make good pictures. Old tractors, old vehicles, mm -hmm. yeah. vines growing up over everything. I mean, it's just, and before long, all this stuff will be gone. Th that's why I took these pictures, because all of this will be, in fact, as I tell people, take pictures of everything, no matter how mundane it is, you know, people your house. Anymore, I don't think I'm that. sorry? I don't think people care anymore. Nor do they print pictures. So what I'm doing is I'm documenting that I may take I may be the last person to have taken a picture of that before it totally vanishes. Now, are you coming out with volume two? Actually I am. I'm already working on that. <laughs> now where are you going this time? Are you still got I, I've started, that you ain't I've, I actually shot a lot this past winter. It's like okay. Where can people find your book? Uh, forgottenalabama.com. You can either type that or you can type www.forgottenalabama.com or just leave off the three W's. It doesn't matter. It's actually a book that you will look at over and over. It's really, I mean, it's interesting. What's funny is, is I will see people will take my pictures I posted online and post them on my Facebook page and like kind of maybe and get away with it and it's like I know every photograph when I everyone they're all my children I know right, every right, one of them when I see them. Right here's a great photograph that most people would not see this and you got a great eye. And I would just for a say partially torn down school in Union Town in Perry County, Alabama. You're shooting through a broken window showing the old school. Correct. I, in fact, there's, there was nothing else redeeming in that entire place mm -hmm. other well, than that one Perry shot. County, Alabama, you know. But, uh, now, did you just ride the, the way I used to find country over stories, I'd just get on some back road, like going to Woodville or somewhere, uh -huh. and you would see so many amazing things. It was unbelievable. I, uh, mm -hmm. Absolutely. But, I mean, most of the stuff, and the three-quarters of that book is stuff, I, I plotted out everything on Google Maps. I made my own maps, and I am. Like, you know, I go down Street View. I thought, wow, this is worth shooting. I'd mark it on the map. I'd save it. That wound up going to about 2,000 locations. You spent a lot of time alone, didn't you? You know what? That's not necessarily a bad thing. <laughs> I love this shot, too, this old bench from downtown Castleberry. Yeah. Uh, got a little color to it. And little, some of your pictures, most of them in black and white. Color doesn't really Don't do show it. them all. People got to get the book. All right. <laughs> We're, we're not talking high def here, okay? <laughs> oh, it was. Oh, I loved it. I. This is an experience that I will. I mean, this will outlive me. So it, this is my legacy. All right, forgotten Alabama. Go to check them out. Glenn, as always, pleasure to see you, man. Keep